time at 751, something that's almost as good as jewelry. <laughs> almost. <laughs> roses. Yeah, so how about roses that have your feelings inscribed on them? When we come back, we'll be speaking with roses. Well, <laughs> we're going to speak it'll to it'll the flowers. It'll be the most interesting interview yet. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot to say. Uh, speaking roses and the new trend of personalizing flowers, so stay tuned. We'll explain a little bit better when we come back. Something that's creating international buzz is arriving here in Salt Lake City. In fact, it's here now. Personalized roses available in Utah, and you can put anything from logos to signatures on them. Carrie's with Mike from Speaking Roses discussing everything they can do with roses. Carrie? Yes, I mean, getting roses in and of itself is, is wonderful, but this takes it one step further. You can actually put a message on the roses. Who came up with this idea? Well, a fellow named Rene Rodrigo from Chile created the technology that we now own a patent on that allows us to print on these roses anything that the customer wants. That's so unusual. So it's actually printed, right? It's embossed right it's on the rose petal. It's embossed right on the rose without petal. Without damaging the rose in any way. That seems do... impossible, but. He's figured it can be done. We can do common phrases, personal handwritten messages, uh, logos, pictures, anything you want. We can put on the rose. Describe how, how exactly is that done? Is the flower run in a machine of some sort, or is it held up and? Well, it's a it's a patent that we were just awarded. Okay. And so some of so it you is, don't want to say too much. We don't much? talk about it, but we actually create plates and do printing. And, uh, do and printing. the printing machine is uh, of a technology that will not damage the rose, but we can run roses right through and print anything you want on them. Okay, well give us some of the ideas, some of the, the messages you'll put on roses. This one obviously is one for the holidays. Right. Well, we, the first thing we do is we try to teach people about the language of flowers that's uh -huh. been used throughout history where different colors have different meanings. So we'll help you pick your colors, your combinations first. Okay. And then second, we will say, what message do you want to say? And we'll help you design a message. It can be, thanks for your business. It can be, I love you. It can be, I'm sorry, which we do a lot of. Uh, yesterday we had um, a gentleman drew a sketch of his two children. We printed that right on the rose. And then on the other roses, we said, we love you, mommy. So. Uh, we help you create very, very personal messages. We're communication counselors that'll help you say what you want to say in a very beautiful way. I bet the I'm sorry is a popular. I'm sorry is a popular one. That's the, the lavender the, color. Yes. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> um, you know, I always thought that roses for were for romance, but businesses, huh? Well. We're, getting in on this. We're trying to teach people that flowers can be used for all of life's events. It's not just death and weddings. You know, black and red. It's mm -hmm. it's a variety of colors. For example, orange means let's have fun together. Yellow is you're a great friend. I appreciate your friend, friendship. Uh, red means courage, that we really like what you're doing. We prepared this for you to say we love you guys down here at Fox. <laughs> um, so you can really say anything by using the right combination of colors with the phrase that you put on there. Probably the most popular thing is for people to, to come right by hand a message to their loved ones, and then we can have that on roses for you in 10 minutes. So it's in their writing? It's in your handwriting. Wow, that's really clever. Do you do black roses? Uh, we can do, yes. And do those? Do you need some of those? No. <laughs> Dan Evans? Uh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, if you can conceive it, we can create it. You can Let's create it, okay. And uh, how much does this cost? Well, the neat thing about our company is these roses, all these arrangements are the same as you'd find in any other floral shop. They're large-headed Colombian roses, same price. We do not charge really extra for the embossing like we did your logo here, we would not charge you any additional, but you would pay the same that you'd pay in just about any other floral shop. Okay, give us some ideas of the companies maybe that have caught on to this, that are using this quite a lot. Well, we did the uh, Grammy Awards, we did the American did you really? Music Awards, we've done the Kentucky Derby, wow. we've done some roses for Donald Trump's wedding. Um, what did you put we, on his? Uh, it just, we usually just put the name of the people and the date that they were married. Oh, or okay. pictures, we put pictures on them. Okay. All right. So. Mike, thank you so much. It's a really ingenious idea. And it thank just you. takes it up a notch. Thanks for having me. All right, Dan, I've got some roses coming to you. <laughs> I bet. I wonder if it's erasable ink so I could re-gift them to my wife. Huh. 7.58's the time. Well, roses can speak more than words. Well, when you put them together, you have a homegrown worldwide company. Ron Byrne has this story for us. This flower shop speaks a language of its own. We can create any bouquet and emboss any saying on any rose uh, in about 10 minutes. A bouquet in which the flowers do the talking. Rene Rodriguez planted and grew his idea of embossing roses with words. Now he has a worldwide company speaking roses. I always thought the best way to start a business in the United States because if, if, if people like it in the United States, everybody around the world would just love it. Rene came here from Santiago, Chile five years ago with a dream. Speaking Roses caught on with some big name events. 
We did the Mer American Music Awards, the Grammy Awards, uh, Donald Trump's wedding, uh, the Kentucky Derby. We were the official rose of the Kentucky Derby. Now, Speaking Roses is opening its first walk-in store. The company plans to open franchise shops across the globe. So, how do they do this? We don't know. They wouldn't tell us. It's a tightly guarded secret. It's an amazing technology, but it's uh, very simple to use. Uh, they can have this job done very quick. You can compose and write your own message. A computer and the secret printing technology bloom into a beautiful bouquet. This one is especially for Mary. A message that speaks louder than words. Ron Bird, 2 News. Well, Speaking Roses is celebrating its grand opening this next week. Tomorrow they will hand out 10,000 red embossed U roses at the University of Utah Wyoming football game. If you'd like to know more, you can just call them at 466-ROSE. A unique new flower shop opens its doors in Salt Lake City today. Take a look at this. It's called Speaking Roses because they personalize your flowers. It's a patented embossing technique that can put photos, logos, printed words, or handwritten messages directly on flowers. And Speaking Roses had fi has filed a patent in over 100 countries, but is just setting up shop. And this one in Salt Lake is located at 2104 South and 7th East. And this is a very tasteful bouquet right here with ABC4, as you can see, printed upon it. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. I'm, I'm trying to figure what the most popular ones will be. I bet one is I'm sorry. Right. Marry me. Uh, marry me, I love you, something like that. But it's pretty neat. Thing. They're very pretty. And here's the good news they cost about the same as any other flowers. Um, they're about five bucks a rose or $69 a dozen, which is pretty average for a dozen roses. So, Dan, next time you're thinking of uh, giving your wife a gift, you can go to that flower shop and do something personal. My wife gets flowers from me several times a year. That's nice. Because good. I like flowers. They're not always roses, but flowers are just kind of fun. Yeah. Enjoy it.